And I understand, Mr. Menez, you want to uh, go next. And Mr. Garcia, you're going to hold. Okay. So I now recognize uh, the gentleman from New Jersey, Mr. Menendez, for five minutes of question. Thank you, Chairman. And uh, Mr. Secretary, thank you, as always, for being here. We appreciate your willingness to engage with us both in this uh, setting and in individual offices and conversations. I just feel it's important to address some of the things that have been said here by our Republican colleagues because uh, they should not uh, stand uncorrected. Uh, first, it's been said by Chairman McCall that you violated your oath. I wholeheartedly disagree with that. Chairman McCall said, you have made this country much more, much more dangerous. I disagree with that. Uh, you and everyone at DHS works every single day to keep this country and all of us protected. So thank you and to all the dedicated public servants who serve alongside of you for your work. Chairman McCall had also said that you destroyed the fabric of this country. I wholeheartedly disagree with that. Uh, and thank you again for your service to this country. Um, Mr. Bishop said, and questioned the success of your administration, I want to refer back to what former Homeland Secretary, uh, Security Secretary Chertoff said about the sham impeachment hearings that we've had here, that House Republicans are ducking difficult policy work and hard-fought compromise. Impeachment is a diversion from fixing our broken immigration laws and giving DHS the resources needed to secure the border. That's the conversation that we should be having today. So if we're going to judge success, I would commend the work that you and your colleagues have done, but I would question the success of this committee and our oversight jurisdiction and our failure to live up to our mandate. I have two quick questions. Um, we had discussed the Remain in Mexico policy. You had said that that requires a cooperation of Mexico. We've also heard about building a wall. Uh, former President Trump said that Mexico would pay for that wall. Um, has Mexico agreed to pay for the building of a wall? Uh, no, it is not, Congressman. Thank you for clarifying that point. Um, and before I move on to the substantive questions that you came here to discuss, um, as you've had to, I imagine, spend an immense amount of time and resources as the agency has had to preparing for that impeachment uh, proceeding that came through this committee. And I'm proud to see you still standing. Uh, and you will continue to keep standing. And just a reminder that Republicans have been more successful at removing their own members from positions like former Speaker McCarthy, and now the process that seems to be underway for removing Speaker Johnson. So you keep hanging in there while they keep removing their own members from uh, positions of leadership. Um, I want to go into fentanyl, which is an issue that's of grave concern to many of us. Uh, I want to talk about your work combating fentanyl in our country. The Department of Homeland Security is on the front lines executing President Biden's plan. And I want to commend you and the dedicated public service, servants at DHS who stopped more fentanyl and arrested more drug traffickers in the last two fiscal years than the previous five combined. The President requested emergency supplemental funds for DHS in October of last year. It's now April. And my Republican colleagues have refused to even consider providing these funds that will help combat drug trafficking. Mr. Secretary, how will the supplemental funding requested by the administration support your ongoing efforts to combat fentanyl? Congressman, the supplemental request uh, would provide uh, two very important streams of funding, um, at least. One is for personnel, more investigators, more support staff for those investigators, uh, the, their ability uh, to not only investigate and apprehend traffickers and work both domestically and internationally, but also to resource much needed technology, specifically the non-intrusive inspection technology, which is so remarkably effective at our ports of entry, which are the primary uh, avenues through which smugglers seek to move uh, fentanyl into our country. Absolutely. And, uh, and Democrats look forward to getting you those resources so you can continue that important work. The department has done a commendable job step stopping fentanyl from entering our country. It's worth emphasizing again that DHS has stopped more fentanyl and arrested more drug traffickers in the last two fiscal years than the previous five combined, as I previously mentioned. Mr. Secretary, how does the administration's budget request for fiscal year 25 build on the successes of the last two years? Um, Congressman, it continues to fund uh, our personnel uh, so that we can continue not only to implement the uh, strategic operations that we have underway, but also to build on those operations and develop new ones, uh, deploy personnel to different countries that are source uh, countries, um, and plus up our transnational criminal investigative units where our investigators work with international partners 
to interdict not only precursor chemicals, but also the equipment used to manufacture fentanyl and the finished product itself. Thank you, and I appreciate, again, all your service to our country. I yield back.